Hey you guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising uh, for the weeks of April the 2nd through the 15th, 2019. Um, so I have already shuffled and cut the cards. Let's go ahead and begin here. I want to thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. I uh, ask that you all please continue to do so. Remember, these are general readings, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully they make sense to you. Um, also, if you want to book a personal or private reading, you can email to majtarot at gmail.com. And um, if you want to talk to me by phone, you have to wait until I post that notification up stating that I'm taking calls. If you don't see it posted, uh, that probably means that I'm not taking the calls. All right, central issue, heart of the matter, we have the star. Two of Pentacles, um, the Hermit, Five of Cups, Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands, Nine of Swords, and the Moon. Okay, so central issue here is there seems to be some soul searching there is confusion in regards to the path you want to walk I feel like spiritually someone is feeling like they're trying to walk the fence um, or straddle straddle the fence rather um, that is usually to someone who may be torn between their traditional religious beliefs versus their new um, discoveries in regards to spirituality. Um, so I feel like someone is really struggling spiritually um, and not really knowing what path, path to take. Now also this can be talking about something else in regards to love like I felt like spirituality was kind of jumping out uh, but in regards to love you could be trying to either juggle I feel like you're trying to juggle your personal life like you're wanting like you feel like you why can't you share your love with everybody or something I don't know I just kind of feel like like you you're not feeling like you're a cheater or anything you just feel like why can I love this person I have there's so much love to go around why should I have to make a choice I don't know why I'm getting that you know um, you know I'm not trying to accuse you guys of feeling that way maybe you're dealing with someone who is with this behavior I feel like someone like although this person is deep they think a lot they're very philosophical uh, this is a good person but it's it's like people might view them as a bad person because they can't seem to stay in one relationship. It's like I feel like there's a rotation of people almost like they feel like they have lovers all over the world. Um, I also feel like there is someone who is who's single. But there's someone that is far away that they can't seem to reach. They're having a hard time getting out to this person. Maybe it's the money. It's like I don't have the money to come visit. Um, or maybe they're torn between, um, if they're not single, but they're in a relationship. Maybe they're just torn like, uh, how do I get to this person when I'm supposed to be with this person here? I feel like someone too is like stretching themselves thin. Somebody has been giving too much of themselves to many people. I feel, I just kind of feel like someone has really been struggling, um, extending themselves, their energy to other people. It doesn't necessarily mean money. It could be. That's probably why you, you know, struggling because you keep loaning money to people or, or just giving it away. You know, like you don't have anything, but you're giving your money away. Um... It also could be, too, that, you know, you're, you're giving your time away. Time is energy. Um, and, you know, that's valuable to you, but yet you are making time for everybody but yourself. 
um, you know, the minute you get off of work, somebody's asking, can you come do a favor for me, you know, here? And you're going there. Then your mom calls and she's like, uh, can you come over here for, you know, I just want to talk to you. I just want to see your face. And it's like, okay, mom, I'll, I'll come visit you. And all you want to do is to get back home, get back to your research and your, your conspiracy videos or your prayer or your meditation, whatever it is. But you're like giving so much of your time away to other people. Um, some of you also may be torn between a Virgo and an Aquarius, maybe even Pisces. Well, I'm glad I saw Pisces because I was getting Piscean energy in your reading too. Like your behavior is that of Venus and Pisces. Um, so in just from what I've read and experience Venus and Pisces kind of feel like they they love everybody it's just like oh I love everybody like everybody's dear to me like I, I can't say I just belong to this one person or that one person because I love them all everybody holds a special place in my heart you know so I've kind of dealt with that but yeah Venus and Pisces and then you, you can look at it as a spiritual way too as far as someone is just like a, um, a spiritual leader or advisor and they just naturally have so much love for the world, the universe, for everything. It's just like, I just want to love everything. I almost feel like someone gets very emotional. They're an empath, uh, especially maybe if they weren't always this way. They underwent a, a spiritual awakening and now they can feel everybody's energy. And so um, either you or the person you're dealing with, uh, but mainly you, like you're probably very sensitive and always crying about things that you see on the news it's like I can't watch the news why am I crying about all this stuff is affecting me everything in the world affects me you know if you're sad that affects me you I feel your pain you're like going around feeling everybody's pain um I feel too like you want to heal people like you feel like you you have some sort of gift where you can heal people you're like, I, I need to t t take the energy that I've been blessed with and heal people with it. So I, I just kind of feel like you're exerting your energy to a part where you just fall out. Like you're tiring yourself. You need a, a break or a rest from everybody. You need to go back into hermit mode because every time you come outside your house or answer your phone, you end up taking care of everybody. Not saying that anything's wrong with that, but you know, don't forget that you need to rest up too. Um, now, also, I'm seeing somebody who's maybe grieving over the past, feeling like things didn't work out. They're still grieving over a past love or maybe uh, it's I mean, it could either be you or someone else. But there is amount of sadness about something being over or not being able to hear from someone anymore. Maybe um, someone is missing you or, or crying because you deleted them or blocked them and they're just like I just want to talk to them and you turned your back on them you're like I don't want to talk to you anymore even though someone has been pouring their heart out and um, crying and talking about they're sorry maybe somebody did something wrong and they feel like they're learning their lesson and they're um they're just like pouring their heart out crying um, and the other person is maybe ignoring them and not wanting to deal with it um, I feel like somebody's been undergoing a lot of emotional, a lot of emotional um, transformations this past couple of weeks. Like you're carrying so much, like the weight of the world is on your shoulders for whatever reason. You're feeling like you're Superman or Wonder Woman. I don't know what's into you, but it's just like you feel like you need to do everything for everybody. You're acting like you're superhuman. Um... You're working, you're working way too much. It, you know, in a, in a relationship, you might be doing all the work while your partner isn't really doing anything. And maybe your partner, maybe it's unintentional. Maybe they're sick. Maybe your partner's not feeling well. Um, you know, you're having to take care of them. Maybe you're, you feel obligated. Like you're supposed to take, it's your karma to take care of them. You're like, it's, it's, it's my duty, you know. It's my duty to take care of him or her. I have to. Even though you're going through something, stressing, um, you know, 
just under a lot of stress. Um, I see a lot of anxiety. I see a lot of paranoia. Emotionally, I feel like someone is having a hard time opening up or moving forward in a relationship because, um, you know, they have suffered severe abandonment or trust issues, which is basically traumatic. You know, sometimes uh, I talked about this before, but let's just say, for instance, you are someone who truly, truly desires to be in a, a long term, steady relationships instead of these short lived um, two and three month relationships that snap, snap apart. So fragile the minute something goes wrong and this has happened, happened to you through a lifetime. That's traumatic. Like that, especially like when you really want to be with somebody, when you really just want that one person, that's traumatic. When you reflect on all your relationships and how they've been short lived, you start to feel like, why didn't nobody want to stay with me? Why doesn't anyone want to fight with me or to make it work? Why does everybody just give up the minute things go wrong? You know, that's sad. So you might feel like you're, you've been abandoned all your life, you know, and it's hard for you to kind of connect or trust people. Or, or to have something serious with. Yeah, see, you're having trust issues. Um, now, if this isn't you, like I said, keep in mind, this can go the other way around. But someone is trying to reach out. Someone does want to start fresh. Um, and I do feel like you are kind of connecting with someone. So I feel like there is a relationship that's being established. I see actually, sometimes with this Ten of Pentacles, it's tricky. It's, it's one of one of my favorite cards, but like the lovers, it can indicate being involved with someone who's already in an established relationship. So there's this long term relationship going on. And then there's this one relationship going on where two people are just like strictly genuinely in love. But these two people, because they've been in a relationship for so long, it's more like a relationship out of oblig out of obligation. Um, and out of loyalty, but yet at the same time, here's a relationship that someone is having on the, so on the side. It almost looks like two separate relationships are going on, like I just described. Um, but not for everybody. For, you know, but for somebody, I feel like they need to hear that. There is like two separate relationships going on. It's something about it that's kind of open and there's a need to compromise. And it's just like, uh, I know you guys hate when I talk about stuff like this, but believe me, if it's not happening to you, please don't let that get to your head. You know, don't adapt it into your life then if it's not happening to you. This is usually, like I said, my messages are either to confirm something that was already intuitively going on within you or you already do know about the situation and it just confirms what you already know. Um, so here, like I was saying, is that it looks like some people are having to compromise, like how to, or making arrangements like, okay, well, I understand that you are in that relationship with that person and you're going to be with that person, uh, for one week and then the next week we'll be together. And then, you know, so some, it's like something's going in rotation. It's like people people are taking turns there's the juggling of two separate relationships um and someone just they want to keep they want to keep both parties they're like i love both of you and the thing too is that it's not really even coming off as someone who is just being outright greedy it just looks like someone who just they really feel like they justify their heart by feeling like they're just meant to be with several people. You know, I know everybody's not going to look at it like that. You know, everybody's just going to say, uh, AKA cheater, you know, <laughs> but it's, it's not really cheating if you're open and honest with it. And that's the thing. I'm not really seeing that somebody is lying. I just feel like things are, it's transparent. It's transparent. Everybody knows what's going on. They're working on it. They're talking about it. This is a party of three. But they're taking it very serious. It's not playful to them. It's serious. This serious uh, conversation is going on. Um, also, I'm seeing now that some of you could be involved with someone. Uh oh, some of you could be involved with a coworker. Um, even if you are someone who works from home, maybe this is someone who also just works in the same type of industry. Um, or it's like, say, for instance, both you and your partner work from home. Well, both maybe you and your partner or you or your partner, you know, this is the other thing that's going on. 
um, because I do see some sort of business partnership. Now, I, I see that as the potential too, like two people who are in love. It's like maybe it started off as a business partnership, but it turned into something romantic. So for everybody, it's not about having two relationships, but it's something about one relationship morphing into something else. Um, but I feel like it was hard for this person to trust. It was hard for this person to take the bait. They were like, I don't know, you know, mm. I can see there is an attraction to, and someone is afraid to be attracted to the other person as well. Um, so yeah, you guys, and financially too, just before I go, this, I, I feel like you are going to have like an abundance of wealth the next couple of weeks. Like, I feel like your money's going to be pretty okay, pretty on point. Um, I feel too like you might just be starting in a new position. Um, you might be starting your own business, something that's going to generate a lot of income. But I feel like things like I feel like there's stability with you guys, even in the the juggling of relationships. I feel like something's stabilizing because there's been some sort of compromise. Like you guys are learning how to function as a couple to make everybody happy here. So you go from boohooing and crying to talking out your feelings and uh, understanding one another and understanding how each other think. So you guys are too kind of looking at the relationship from a mature level. You know, you're you're the hermit. You've gone through some things. You can see things with uh, your inner light and not be so judgmental about, you know, whatever's going on. All right, so that is all that I have for Capricorn. I hope it makes sense. Hope it resonated. Feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and many blessings to you.